Hey, what is up YouTube? I've got another knife review for you. It's a pretty nice day at the creek. This knife is the Partisan knife. It's an interesting design. Very efficient, very efficient for slicing through meat. Right? And also, I like how that part, you know, it acts as an integrated guard. Right? It does not have a cross guard, but that acts as an integrated guard. I like that. So this knife is a true full tang knife. It's got micarta handle scales. Now the micarta here, it is, uh, it's smooth. It's like polished micarta, and that is for comfort during prolonged use. The blade length is uh, 7.8 inches. The steel on this is 1095 high carbon steel. Now the story behind this design, as I've been told, this is based on a World War I knife. Right, this is part butcher knife and part fighting blade. Yeah, I could definitely see that. I mean, I can see the fighting part. I could definitely see people sneaking around in trenches trying to get the enemy with this. Like, World War I, I could totally picture some old French blacksmith in some town that's near the front and the soldier saying, hey man, could you, could you make us some knives? This thing would be nasty and effective. It's uh, four millimeters in thickness, so it's not the thickest, but it's definitely a lot thicker than like a chef's knife, right? It's the same shape as a lot of, um, a lot of food knives, the same similar shape, but it's definitely thicker. All right, here's a close up of the sheath that this came with. So it's got eyelets there, and this part here with a belt loop. It's a molded sheath. It does hold it in. All right, so that's the sheath. All right, the butcher knife function of this. We've got some ribs. Goes right through. There we go. There you go. Uh, so this makes an excellent butcher knife. All right, cutting up some meat with this, you need to, uh, you want some like beef stew, for example. You know, the, uh, that butcher knife function. Yeah, I mean, if you need to process some game in the field, or you're just having a camp cookout or a barbecue, you can cube some beef like so. So now if you brown these in the pan and then cook them through in a slow cooker, add some onions, some parsnips. Okay, and true to my word, there are those pieces of meat with some parsnips, some beets, onions, mushrooms, some meat, some root vegetables. This is going to be good. This piece is kind of warped. We'll give it a try. There we go. Like I said, it's a bit warped. There we go.
And now if you need to, you can take one of these pieces and draw this down. All right, this is tougher than a branch because this is kiln dried. But still, you can draw this down a piece of wood like so. You can carve yourself a spike, right? Piece of a trap. Pretend it's that Rambo movie. You get the idea. finish off the tip with some finer work and then you want to uh, you know make it more pointy with some finer work there after you draw it down thin it out all right so you get the idea you can carve yourself a survival spike or you know a wooden spear spearhead whatever you need to make now keep in mind splitting with this will dull the edge pretty quickly, okay? After doing some splitting, and I tried this on some food, I had to resharpen this to get it to, uh, you know, to slice up to my standards. Okay, so did you see what we did there? We chopped a notch into this branch and then just cleaned it up like so. And now we have a notch, right? Huh. Well, there you go. You know, it's it's not a it's not a utility knife, but it is it is sharp. All right, here's a piece of bike tire tubing. There you go. And a strap such as a seat belt. There you go. Uh, there you go. Uh, it's a pretty awesome knife. Well, I like what they've done with this knife and I like the history behind it. It is just a very efficient knife for slicing or piercing meat. I like the uh, micarta handle scales, the true full tank construction. I do like uh, 1095 high carbon steel. That's a good steal. So yeah, I mean, I'd say this would make a very efficient uh, trench fighting type knife or a food processing knife. But yeah, I'm glad I I'm glad I found this. You know, this is kind of a rare knife. It's only sold at a few places. So uh, get them while you still can if you have a need for this or if you just want to collect it. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing it. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.